Hey everyone, it's Dr. Jess. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll discuss molar concentration. We'll talk about mole, millimole, and micromole. Okay, let's get right into it. What is a mole? A mole is the molecular weight of a substance in grams. What is a millimole? A millimole is the molecular weight of a substance in milligram. So one mole is a thousand millimoles. The same way one millimole is a thousand micromoles. So as an example, the molecular weight of sodium chloride is 58.5. So that means one mole of sodium chloride is 58.5 grams. One millimole of sodium chloride is 58.5 milligram. Does that make sense? So one mole is the weight in grams. So one mole is 58.5 gram, and then the millimole, because it is the weight in milligram, it is 58.5 milligram. Okay, let's look at a problem. How many millimoles of monobasic sodium phosphate monohydrate, molecular weight of 138, are present in 100 grams of the substance? Okay, so we have the molecular weight that's 138. So that means one mole of monobasic sodium phosphate monohydrate is 138 grams. That also means one millimole of that substance is 138 milligrams. So they're asking you how many, how many millimoles are present in 100 grams of the substance. So you can solve this using ratio and proportion. So if you know one millimole is 138 milligram, then you convert the 100 grams to milligrams. So that'll give you 100,000 milligrams. So that's X. And then you find x, x is 1 times 100,000 divided by 138, and your answer is 724.6 millimoles. Now, let's look at another problem. What is the weight in milligrams of 5 millimole of potassium phosphate dibasic, molecular weight of 174? So here, what do we have and what is being asked? So we have the molecular weight. So that means what? That means one mole is 174 grams. That also means one millimole of potassium phosphate dibasic is 174 milligram. Okay, so right now I would like all of you to try and solve this problem and let me know what your answer is in the comments below. Okay, so we know that one millimole of that substance is 174 milligram. They're asking us for the weight of five millimole. So again, you can solve this using ratio and proportion. If you know one millimole is 174 milligram, then for five millimoles, you can five x, you can find x, and that will give you the weight in milligrams. So try to solve this. Let me know what your answer is. Okay, so if you've made it this far into the video, I would like all of you to like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploaded video. Okay, that's it for today. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!